Religion is a set of organized beliefs, practices, and systems that most often relate to belief and worship of a controlling force. Asia is the site of world's famous religion. In this lesson, we will talk about Judaism that started in Israel. For today's lesson, this is our objectives. Number one, discuss the foundation of Judaism. Number two, illustrate the Ten Commandments as stated in Old Testament. To know your knowledge about the lesson, let's take the pretest first. Number one, what is the old name of Israel? A. Mesopotamia B. Persia C. Kanaan C. Kanaan is the correct answer. Number two, who is the father of all nations? A. Moses B. Jacob C. Abraham C. Abraham is the correct answer. Number three, what do you call an event where in Hebrews return to Israel from Egypt after they become slave? A. Diaspora B. Exodus C. Zionism B. Exodus is the correct answer. How did Judaism begin? Judaism began about 4,000 years ago with the Hebrew people in the Middle East. Abraham, a Hebrew man, is considered the father of the Jewish faith because he promoted the central idea of the Jewish faith, that there is one God. At the time, many people in the Middle East worshipped many gods. It is said that Abraham and his wife Sarah, who were old and childless, were told by God that their children would be as plentiful as the stars in the sky, and that they would live in a land of their own, the promised land. This gradually came true. Abraham's son, Isaac, had a son, Jacob also called Israel. In this way, the descendants of Abraham came to be known as the Israelites. God promised the Israelites he would care for them as long as they obeyed God's laws. While still traveling, the Hebrews lived in Egypt where they were enslaved. Moses, a Hebrew, was chosen by God to lead the Hebrew people out of Egypt. Moses led the Hebrew people out of the Sinai Desert toward the Promised Land. At Mount Sinai, God gave Moses the law which would guide the Israelites today. The laws were called the Ten Commandments and formed the basis of Torah, the book of Jewish people. It took many years for the Israelites to finally get to what they thought was the promised land, Canaan. After some fighting, the Jews established the Israelite kingdom. After many years, Canaan was conquered by the Assyrians. the Babylonians, and then eventually the Romans. The Israelites once again found themselves enslaved, this time by Babylonians. The Israelites were then taken over by Romans, who destroyed much of what had been built in Jerusalem by the Israelites. Most of the Jews were scattered all over the region and eventually moved from place to place to avoid persecution 
which continues to this day. The dispersion of the Jews is called the Diaspora. The worst persecution of the Jews was during World War II by the Nazis who murdered more than 6 million Jews or a third of the world's Jewish population. This was called the Holocaust. Beginning in the 1880s, Jews began returning to their homeland in growing numbers, this time to avoid persecution where they lived. After World War II, many Jews believed that for the Jewish people and culture to survive, Jews needed to live in their own country where all Jews from anywhere in the world would have the right to live and be citizens. In 1948, Palestine was divided up and a Jewish state of Israel was formed in the land that was once called Canaan, surrounded by countries with predominantly Muslim populations. Since Muslims also claimed rights to the land where the Jews were living, there was conflict which continues to this day in the Middle East. Today, nearly 14 million Jewish people live all over the world. Approximately half of them live in the United States. One quarter live in Israel and a quarter are still scattered around the world in countries in Europe, Russia, South America, Africa, Asia, and other North American and Middle Eastern countries. Anyone born to Jewish mother is considered a Jew. Since we are done with our lesson, let's do our performance task. Rappler Philippines is one of the leading digital news in our country. As part of their organization, you are tasked to create editorial cartoon for their next issue entitled The Ten Commandments. In your editorial cartoon, you must consider the following. Number one, the drawing should attract the attention of the readers in terms of design, layout, and neatness. Number two, the character personality must be the current leader of our country, local or national. Remember, you are going to pass this activity in our next meeting. Let's check your understanding. Get your pen and paper and take your quiz. Number one, who is the wife of Abraham? A. Sarah B. Hagar C. Mary Number two, who is the leader of Exodus in Egypt? A. Moses B. Jacob C. Abraham Number three, in which place wherein Moses received the Ten Commandments? A. Sinai B. Jerusalem C. Bethlehem Time is up! Let's check your answers! That's all for today! Thank you and have a nice day!